General Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. It's Doug. I am your variety streamer, part-time PNG tuber, and speedrunner. And I'm here once again with TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Only this time, instead of Leo, we're here with April. And as it's already been confirmed, we are indeed using the tournament fighter outfits. So, April is very unorthodox, but she's very fun as well. She she outputs as much damage as she needs to despite having low attack and you're gonna see a lot of that once i start the run with her and everything and we are going to be using the tournament fighter colors which are right here um there may be moments where i do get a little bit quiet because some of the the bosses are you know they need my my full concentration but i'll do my best to commentate a little bit and you're gonna see how April plays differently from Leo and all the other turtles and Casey, Usagi, and Karai. So without further ado, let's kick shell. So the first episode, jaw breaking news. You're gonna see me do a lot of dive kicks as well with April. So, um, you know, that's gonna be my meter builder as well as my damage output. So. Do a quick slide. April slide does at least two damage, which also has a little bit of a pushback. And I'll, and if it if I'm damaging an enemy close to the wall, it pushes me back sometimes a little bit. So we're gonna combo there, hit a diving super. I will say this: diving super did get adjusted, and the focus is gonna be a little bit more on the uh. uh the flying and and standing supers so here i'm not going to use that i'm going to use standing super after i get that quick speed and we're out of there beat these guys up get a slide dive super here pop this do the rising dive kick get this guy out the way oh nice two for one special Dive kick. And meters got. Use dive super right there. Pop that. Another rising. So a lot of the enemies in the game uh take anywhere from like four damage, sometimes three, just depending on the color of the, the foot soldier. Pop that. And you notice that I'll do, I'm doing a little bit of overkill sometimes too because it helps the stage transition a little bit better. Dive kick right there, right here, right here, and we're good. Our first boss is going to be Bebop, and hopefully he shows me his gun so that way we can finish him quick, fast, in a hurry. Right. A clean fight right there. So to talk a little bit about April, her her standing super does three damage for four. Um, her flying attack does twelve. If you're using it on a regular enemy, she'll just go into a combo. And her her diving attack is ten. So, this game is on OK mode, which I've been running. I'm currently uh, in second place, and I'm coming. I'm doing my best to try to get as fast as uh, the current world record holder, Krunen. But right now, here we are, uh, Big Apple, 3 p.m. There's a lot going on. Uh, my favorite boss is here, so. Oh, throat. Pop that. Sewer lid does about anywhere between like four to five damage. Use the 
the heavy swing for that. Clear these guys out. Oh, he wanted to escape. Pop that. Yeah, everything hurty and um, gnarly. Dive kick right here. Pop this. So when you see me overkill like that, it helps the stage transition a little bit quicker. That's out of the way. Now the motorcycle guys. I'm gonna get these out of the way. Quick dive super here. Oh, wow. That's fine. Clear them out. All right, we're good. Pop super right here. Thank God I recovered that. All right, we're almost out of here. Oops. Small slip up, but we recovered. Grab the infinite pizza, because we're going to need that against Rocksteady. Oh no. We'll be fine. Say your prayers! Oh no. Oh my god. Yep. Lost a little bit more time from there. So where I messed up was I didn't uh, get to hit that enemy so that I can uh, make the stage a little bit transition a little bit quicker than normal. So that kind of slowed me down just a little bit. But the main goal is to at least reach Rocksteady for like three seconds left on your infinite pizza so that you can mash out uh, for at least three uh, dive supers into the flying attack. Oops. Get this. And right here, our auto scroller, Mutants Over Broadway. Uh, the name of the game is just clear the board. So, we're just gonna do as much as we can, try to get all these enemies out here as quick as possible. pop these guys and then I'm gonna use the standing super to kind of clear the board right here so and just like that a clean transition two three all right pop another super right here get these guys out of the way All right, that's out of the way. Now let's have some fun with Rocksteady. Just uh, beat up on the, the turtle tenderizer a little bit. Get that practice in for the, the boss fight itself. Ugh. So We're doing all right. We're gonna set up the Nice. All right. Pop these guys, because then two cars are getting ready to come over here. And then we have the the helicopter ones, or the, the little jetpack ones. Pop that. Good clear. So now I need to... Alright, there we go. Alright, that's out of the way. Get this. Ah, I got kicked. Oh, that was a little bit sloppy, but that's alright. So the idea I was supposed to do was spin um, 
I was supposed to get a quick ton out, then do the standing super, but that's okay. Hopefully, with the turtle tenderizer, we get either grenade or gun. Oh my god. I guess I'll get a ton out right here. All right, we're good. Oh my God. Again, could have been a little bit better if I didn't get grenaded, but that's okay. It's all about placement folks, so. But here we are level four. Here we're gonna have our first double boss fight. So let's go ahead and charge or attack our way out of here. Hit the slide right there. Slide right here. Combo. Get this. these guys out of the way. Get that quick stage transition. Throw this guy. Nice. Oh no. Get these guys out of the way. Give you a small preview of what Roof Running Reptiles is going to look like. Because uh, that's going to be a level where you're going to see me use the cones a lot. So throw these guys out of the way. Now uh, to explain some of the, the colors of the foot soldiers. The default purple, ma burgundy, red, well, burgundy, these guys, they're all four damage each that they take. These guys take a total, the axe guys take a total about like eight damage. The green arrows take one and the blue ones normally take around two. And you'll see one in a walker. The walkers take a total of 12 damage so dive kick right here get that overkill going so that i can uh get these guys out of the way oh all right pop this Now the gold kill Rodneys take about six damage while the regular roll kill Rodneys take about five. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh my God. Nice. That was close. All right. And we're here. Ground Chuck and Dirt Bag, they both have 40 health each, so whatever damage I can consolidate for them together is what I'll be able to do. Alright, now I need to get a taunt. Oh my goodness, that was pretty good. The one thing you want to do is try to keep these two together. If you can keep them together, then you'll have a great run. If not, then you're going to be in a world of hurt. King of the Spill. There's a lot going on at this level. The, and we'll be meeting uh, the, the Mausers for the first time too, so... So let's go ahead and knock him out of the way. Here's another example of me using the, the standing super. So this part is fairly simple. The name of the game is clear the, the board as fast as you can so that you can get the, the trains out here. 
See how they're overlapping? The sooner you get the trains out, the better. Dive kick these guys. Normally I would uh, slide into them, but it's a little bit hard because, uh... oh my God. All right, there we go. Oh, that was close. Now we're gonna use some of the uh, party pizza right here. Now the best thing about this attack is that it does at least three damage per hit. Use standing super, get that out the way. All right. Uh, got the meter for the first couple of the first Mauser. Can't let it uh make any more uh, baby Mausers. So. Get these guys out of the way. We're almost to the end, folks. So. Pop this. Oh, nice. Two for one special. All right. So this is going to be good. All right. Now, the Rat King is annoying, but I have a strat, which I'll talk about after this. So. Just like that, clean fight. So what I did was I baited a simple, uh, after I launched my, my flying super, I baited out a taunt, um, a spinning back kick so that I can have time to taunt, hit him with the flying super, get another taunt out, one more and bada bing, bada boom. Mall meltdown. I actually love this stage. Ha. It makes me actually miss them all sometimes. Oh my god. That was close. Dive kick these cat. Oh. Well. A little bit sloppy, but that's okay. We kind of recovered a little bit. All right, our first walker, 12 damage, 10 plus two. Oh my God. Out of the way. Get these guys. Pop that. Oh, too early. That's fine. Ugh. All right, now we're gonna catch these guys together. Get that overkill so that we can make the stage transition. So this is a new type of uh, foot soldier. He's on his uh, Simon Belmont uh, groove at the moment. So get these guys out of the way. Group them up. Now you're going to see a bunch of uh, these little bots. All right, good. Dive kick on him. Oh my god. Fuck it. Got him. Alright, uh, where are you landing? Get them set up for the second one. Perfect. Dive kick these guys. Get this guy out of the way. I have a quick kill for Tempestra, but I need to be careful or else she'll disappear and summon Toka and Razar. So she's also at 40 health, but let's see if I can get it down pat. Cause I've been... All right, good. Get a taunt out for Token Razor. 
Oh god. Just like that. No. So I got a little bit worried because she was moving too far away, but that 12 damage is everything that I needed. <laughs> and now we got the return of Bebop and Rocksteady together. So this will probably be the, the last time we see these guys. So we're going to go ahead and get a quick taunt out. Try to clear up. Oh, nice. Right within the, the window. Alright. Couldn't get the overkill, but we'll get him out of the way. Thanks, I do my best. So now we're gonna... Alright, three out of four is okay for now. Oh, oh nice. Oh. oh, that happens sometimes, but we're good. All right, let's go ahead and just pop super right here just because. Pop, pop. And then we'll taunt when we're uh, over here, so. Oh my goodness, so. This is a little bit slow. Just climbing up an elevator, you know. Pop that. Got all three of them. Wait around here. Nice. Within the range. And then just dive kick city. We got our, our meter and then now we're gonna meet a new set of ninjas. White ninjas, when which they counter, their the name of their game is a uh, countering, and so the best way to catch them is either what I like to do is dive dive kick them like that and just combo into them. Or if I get two, if I can get two dive kicks in, then great. Then spin, take this guy out. Okay, there we go. Pop this. Nice, two for the price of one, baby. All right, let's squeeze that in over there. It's been a while since the game's been updated, so um, we're hoping we get some update. Oh, got that. Nice. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, that was rough. So, using that cone, the game is actually six players. So, uh, because you have nine different characters you can play with. Using that cone does like about two damage per hit. I was hoping to try to catch them, but couldn't. So, this is another auto-scroller level. It can... Nice. Out of the way. I'll take that for now. There we go. Now we gotta... Don't worry. It's all good. Alright. Panic in the sky. Great jams. But... Oh my goodness. Ugh. There's a lot going on. So just like mutants over Broadway, you know, clear out the enemies as fast as you can, like what you just saw me do. Slide into them or throw them, even though it's 
a lot easier to throw. I'm add that little stank on it. Um, so that way we can get the the missile sh shooting, and then uh, we're gonna wait down here at least until the the little um shooters. Nice. So. So far, so good. Now we have these blimps that are getting ready to come up. They drop anywhere. The first set drops at least two foot soldiers. Oh my god. He's out of the way. The second one's gonna drop three. And then we're gonna have another uh, shooter. Get him out of the way. And then we're gonna have another three. One, two, there we go. Nice, we got some of that overkill. So now we're getting ready to fight uh, Wingnut. And now Wingnut can be a pain in the butt because he does a lot of uh, Storm Eagle patterns. General Andrews can explain to you how much of a pain that can be. When you have him caught in a corner and he decides to go the, the Storm Eagle route. So he also has 40 health and I'm gonna try to see if I can do this really quick. Yeah, oh, wow. What? Yeah. I was expecting uh, for him to hit me with his wings, but he didn't. Yo, talk about pinning him down. <laughs> but here we are. Now that we're done in the sky, next stop, Coney Island. Get this, pop the super, in which we're gonna run into the actual uh, foot soldiers that actually use uh, guns instead of uh, a flotation de device. And then we have uh, these long staff uh, foot soldiers. All right. Oh. We're out of there. Good. Oof. So these guys, they'll block. So what I like to do if, if they start blocking is uh, doing a quick charge attack. Nice. Two for the price of one. Get him out of the way. And uh, we also have side foot soldiers now. So... The, the big thing you got to worry about is if, if you hit them once, they will jump backwards to and shoot a, a Psy at you. Nice. Got him. And he was floating too. Pop that. Get that gold kill Roddy out the way. Get them out of the way. Get a quick taunt ready. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pop these balloons. Now that we got that out of the Oh my God. Here, we get you out of the way. Let me help you out since you wanna be the star of the show at the moment. Nice. 